Hey guys, welcome to the start of the nether- uh, blah, blah, blah. Hey guys, welcome back to the start of another video. We are gonna be working mainly on- Mate, what, are we gonna, are we gonna do work to this thing today? You got time? Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, you got time, you reckon? All right, yeah, we'll, we'll install some goodies. Naki's come around. What what, what do you bring in here, dude? New wheels? New wheels. Oh. Oh. Ooh! Hoo -hoo. Damn, some Tickford 17s, bro. Baller. Uh, yeah, looks like they need a repaint there. Nah, that'd be right. Probably gonna get smashed like yours anyway. <laughs> so today is all about wheels, because I'm also gonna test fit some rotor grids that I got from Andrew's RX-7 on my AU Falcon, and if they fit really nicely, I'm gonna install them and keep them and buy them off him, because he just got a set of R33 wheels for his RX-7. That looks sick, so he wants to get rid of the rotor grids. And well, what better wheel to put on the AU Falcon other than Simmons? The next option is rotor grids. We might do a clutch cable on Naki's AU Falcon, install the Tickford wheel, and see how we go. Damn package. Damn, strong Ryobi gun. Dagga dagga. Fuck. <laughs> So, we come underneath here. Here's the clutch. You can see just up there, there is like a, a little pin. Try to zoom in for you. Yeah, the, there's the, yeah, I, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> My camera's not really small enough to get into space, but essentially what you're looking for is where the cable goes through to uh, the engine bay. So you gotta just remove it from there. It's pretty easy to do. You sort of, you can pull up on the pedal to make yourself get more room. Um, you just need to remove the spring at the back that holds the clutch from swinging out too far. So this is what you're looking for. You're looking for the pin that holds the cable on, and then you're looking for this piece and these little spacer bits right there. So what you gotta do is you gotta pry them off first, and then you'll be able to slide this over the clutch cable, which I can't really show you. Now the clutch cable will just come out. So, if we come around here, the clutch cable should just... There we go. Yeet. Cable's out. Woo. Maggie's just test fitting these wheels on. Damn. Tickford. Damn, they look hot, man. Let's come around this side. Better view. Woo. Not bad. Cockroach life. Oh, I'm fucking hot. Yeah. Sick angle. Okay. Anyway, so where the clutch cable comes out to, I will show you. If you come to the left side of the transmission, the passenger side, this is where the cable comes out to. So you can see this is the bit, that's the cable. And it is, it comes out through to this little box right here. So what you gotta do is you gotta disconnect from this, just lift it out. Oh, it's warm in there. Should be able to pull the whole thing out just like that. Very, very simple. Oh boy. Clutch cables all installed. We're now gonna lower the car, see what it looks like on the front with the tick for the wheels. That looks way better. Damn! We're gonna get some food now. We're gonna take a bit of a break because hungry boy. <laughs> all right, guys, we're back. Now he's got his tick for the wheels on. Bruh. They look hot. Have a sus. Now you say have a sus. Have a sus. <laughs> Not weird. Not bad at all. Fitment, pretty good. I mean, the car needs to be lowered. Decently, they stick out pretty decently. Have a look at that. Not bad. When are you going to lower it? Um, maybe a couple of weeks. Yeah? Keen? We'll see. We'll see. I think the back needs to need bigger spaces in the back. Yeah, you do. For sure. Bit of a gap. Ah, that's better than before. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try test these rotor grids to see if they fit. They're a 17 by 7, I believe, and their offset is plus 35. So I'll, I'll definitely have to run some spaces, which is not an issue. That's like I, I was hoping to run some spaces on the front anyway. But the main thing is to see how it looks and sits, and then we'll go from there. Hopefully it'll even go on the car to begin with. Yeah, these bad boys. Oh, this is hard with one hand. Briston bully. Bam. 21. Bam. I know you guys love hearing the jack over some concrete. POV style this time. The biggest problem with AU Falcons is the center hub size, like the, the ring that's like in the middle of the wheel. Don't know what you call it, but for some reason it's really big compared to any other car that I've ever worked on. So it makes it really difficult to fit on some wheels. I tried to fit on another set of wheels before and it just wasn't gonna go on. So I don't know, it looks pretty big compared to the size of the wheels that we're chucking on, which I'm a little bit worried about. Maybe we'll do some measurements first, but yeah. 
All right, well, I'm really sad. I'm sad <laughs> because they don't fit. Oh, you can see it's just not going on there all the way. It's the hub size is just too big. It's it's not going to clear that little centerpiece that I was talking about. This piece right there, it's just too big. Ah, oh, dang it. Lightly rest this down like that. I'm going to measure the size in the middle here to see how big of a oh, that sucks because the whole idea was to try these wheels on, but I guess they just they don't fit. I have no idea why AU Falcons have such a big center bore, center hub, whatever you want to call it. I don't I don't even know. I, I did some measurements, so I'll throw them up on the screen, but it doesn't really give you an accurate representation because I'm using a like a tape measure. Anyway, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the Simmons on the back because uh, the two tires that are on there currently are not roadworthy, so may as well get some roadworthy tires on there before we uh, you know do some full sending. I got the Simmons tucked up all the way at the back over here, so that's gonna be good fun. They're actually really heavy wheel. Not as light as you'd think because they're big boys. Ooh. God damn, and heavy ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, bud. Uh, yeah, bud. The Simmons are back on the car. And here's where I tell you something. Oh, there's a bug on my screen. On the lens, sorry. Get off here. There we go. Here's where I tell you the sad news. The Yeah Buds are up for sale. I want to sell these Yeah Buds because I don't really have a use for them. They're fantastic street wheels, but this is a purposeful street drift car. Yeah, we can't really do anything on them. I'd, I'd rather have a set that I could, you know, drive on the street and also drift on. But these are nine and a half wide, I believe. And they're running a 255 tire. I could stretch like a, a really small tire on there, but you know, you just risk de-beating and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is chuck them up for sale. They came off an R32 R for sale. That does mean that I'm gonna need a replacement for them. So I really do want some rotor grids, like some 17 by seven, maybe 7.5 at the max, because I do want to get a small tire on there. I love Simmons. I love these wheels. Maybe I'll keep them. If no one ends up buying them for the price that I want for them, then I'll just end up keeping them because who knows, there might be like the, the Blitzo 3s of Australia, they might, they might just go up in value and, you know, triple overnight, so. I don't mind holding them. If no one wants to buy them, then, then I'll just keep them because they fit really good on the Falcon. And worst comes to worst, I could just, you know, have them just sitting in my garage and just run them whenever I feel like because they do make the car look sick. These were gonna be perfect because I could just throw a small tire on there. I think this is a 225 on there currently. Uh, with an AU, really a 225 is the max. I believe that you should be running when you're drifting these things. A 215 tire would be pretty excellent because then we have less traction. And obviously with the lack of power on the AU Falcon, it's, it's preferable. You could send it sideways a lot easier without the chance of breaking any axles or anything. So big sad, I really want some rotor grids. If you do have any rotor grids, let me know because I'll probably buy them if they're 17 by seven. I reckon I'd cop 18s if they're the right uh, width. Just just let me know, hit me up on Instagram. What's up Roach boy, looking good? Like my new shoes? In your shoes, yeah, they look good, bruh. Thanks. So, for some reason, AU Falcons have issues with their AC. Nike's keeps cutting in and out, and mine just doesn't work. If you guys know, like, common issues with the AC in an AU Falcon, please let us know, because I want my AC working. It's like 28 degrees today. It's so weird because, like, these ones go in and out of being hot and cold, so it's cold right now, and then they'll go, like, start pushing out hot air. Yeah. The vents in the back, always icy cold. Always icy cold, I don't get it. Doesn't make any sense. So I don't know if I need a regas because like it's just been, it's still blowing cold in the back always. It never yeah. goes warm in the back. I've heard that the compressors are a little bit, little bit dodge. Yeah, it could oh, be. Man. Roach. Over the past couple of days, we've been really getting ready for Vlogmas. Now, we're already in Vlogmas, guys. Every single day up until Christmas, I'm gonna try upload. If I miss a day, it's, it's bound to happen. I'm gonna try my best to upload every single day, but yeah, we're currently just doing some orders for the bankyspec.com website. So if you guys wanna help support the channel and help support what we do, and if you also want some sick AU Falcon merch, go check out bankyspec.com. Yeah, bud. We've got these in tees and hoodies. My room is a mess, so I'm trying not to show you because You've just been preparing so many orders and all that. Currently, I'm a few videos ahead, so when you see this video, it won't be the current date. It'll be like two days in the past or something like that. Not too short. I don't know where my timeline's at, but I've never done this before, so it's very difficult trying to, you know, 
get all the content out for you guys. But I'm having so much fun doing this daily content stuff. It's just like making me have to do things during the day. So I've just been making myself extremely busy. Currently editing today's video. Also gonna be editing um, a fun little skit for you guys. But yeah, just wanted to hop on here before we end today's video and just say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you for you know keeping up to date and helping support what we're doing, just uploading and stuff like you guys are the reason why I'm doing this. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see what we get up to in December. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you all in the next one. See you later. Why?